At the beginning of the 20th century, the United States was coming to terms with its increasingly urbanized and industrial economy. As the gap between rich and poor grew wider every day, another party emerged in the 1912 presidential election that upended the delicate balance of America's two-party political system. In the run-up to the election, things weren't looking good for sitting President William Taft. Having rolled back many of the progressive policies initiated by his predecessor, Theodore Roosevelt, Taft angered many people in his own party who thought he was too conservative. Determined to counteract Taft's policies, Roosevelt decided to run for president again. But Taft, disgruntled by the challenge, portrayed Roosevelt as power hungry and went on to win the Republican nomination. Instead of accepting defeat, Roosevelt formed an entirely new party, dubbed the Bull Moose Party, to challenge Taft for the White House. New Jersey Governor Woodrow Wilson, a Democrat, was their main competitor, with the electorate calling for women's right to vote and workers' protection from big business. The three campaigns each claimed their candidate was the most progressive. Roosevelt felt that he had the upper hand, having passed progressive laws to regulate industry and protect workers' rights while president. Campaigning from state to state, he argued that, given the chance, he would do so again. He even survived an assassination attempt and went on to give a speech in a blood-stained shirt. But when election day came, Republican voters were torn between Roosevelt and Taft. This split gave Wilson the advantage he needed to become the first Democratic president in 20 years. Ultimately, Roosevelt's creation of a new party changed the dynamics of the election and the political landscape of the United States. Would more political parties be beneficial in a democracy? 